Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this webpack tutorial video, we will see that how we can make a config file for the webpack, how we can customize it and uh, how we can rename the uh, default configuration file of the webpack also. So now let's see. So, uh, so first of all, when you just want to make your configuration for your webpack, you need a file with the name of uh, webpack dot config dot js when you just make it you will find uh, this file with a logo of the webpack icon all right so in this file you can uh, just start some kind of configuration so for example let's say just i want to write here module dot exports and here i can uh, set a mode of the build so let's say i just want to decide the development mode all right so when just write a development mode and you, you will just run the npm build then you will find your uh, build file is little bit different to the production mode all right so that means this is working fine so if i am just going to make here production then you will find different structure of the main.js file all right so you can see that this is a different structure this is in the single line here so now let's say you just want to uh, in this config file in the upcoming videos we will see that how we can uh, make the entry file how we can make the exit out mm, output file input file how we can load the css and images and all but before that uh, let's check let's say you just want to change the name of this webpack.config file then what you can do so yes you can do with the simple click like custom dot js but how will webpack understand that that he have to get the configuration from the custom.js for that case let's go inside the uh, package.json and here in the build scripts right here minus minus config and uh, your name of the file let's say custom.js all right so if i am just going to delete this file then uh, now run this one and this is perfectly fine and here you can see that webpack is uh, taking the configuration from the custom.js all right so now let's uh, rename this file again in the default name webpack because this is looking nice because in the upcoming video maybe you are confused that what is that custom.json file so just write config dot yeah all right so thanks for watching this video in the next video we will see that how we can make the more configuration in the webpack.config.js file bye bye take care